Hello and welcome to this channel, the place where we dive deep into the world of engineering simulation and software. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss any of our comprehensive tutorial. My name is Yuatsu and today we are starting an exciting journey into one of the most versatile and powerful engineering tool out there that is ANSYS. Apart from console multiphysics that I am working from quite a long time now, I also work on ANSYS, MATLAB and few other different softwares. So I thought why not make a starting tutorial on ANSYS and then maybe later on we will create some tutorials regarding the different uh, tools and examples in ANSYS as well. So that you get test of different software tools not only for console as well as other finite element method modeling softwares. ANSYS is a powerful and popular software in the realm of engineering. If you go onto the ANSYS website and see the product section, you can see that uh, it has different modules across different domains as well, such as acoustic, digital, twin, electronics, uh, fluids, material, optics, semiconductor, structures, and so on. It is used globally across multiple industries to stimulate interactions of all disciplines of physics, structural mechanics, and fluid dynamics making it an invaluable tool for engineering and researchers. Whether it's simulating the airflow over an air capturing, the stress on a bridge, or the electromagnetic field in an electronic device, ANSYS provides the platform to accurately validate and predict the behavior of complex designs under real-world condition. In today's video, we are going to explore the ANSYS interface, guide you through the basic functionalities, and set you up with the knowledge to start your first project. This is perfect for those of you who are just starting out with simulating software or looking to switch to ANSYS from other tools. Let's spend a little time understanding what makes this tool so essential and powerful. ANSYS is not just any software, it's a comprehensive collection designed for finite element analysis, computational fluid dynamics, electronics, semiconductor, as well as complicated multiphysics problems. Firstly, ANSYS allows engineers and designers to predict with confidence that their products will thrive in the real world. The software is built upon decades of research and validation, which means it offers accurate and reliable results that are crucial for making informed decisions during the design process. Now, let's break down the major components of ANSYS and their applications across different sectors. Starting with structural analysis, which is a part of what ANSYS calls mechanical or basically ANSYS mechanical. This module is used to determine the integrity and lifespan of structures under various forces. From the gigantic scale of architectural framework like bridges and skyscrapers to the minute but critical components in medical devices and electronic connectors. Mechanical helps ensure safety and efficacy. Moving on to fluid dynamics or what ANSYS refer to as fluent. Fluent simulates fluid and gas flow in complex scenarios. It's pivotal in designing efficient water system, aerodynamic vehicle, and even environmental assessment where air pollution or water treatment is analyzed. The ability to predict how fluids will behave can lead to innovation in product design and significant improvements in performance. Electromagnetics, which is often discussed within the context of ANSYS electromagnetic suit encompasses Maxwell for electromechanical devices, HFSS for signal integrity, antennas, and microwave components, and SLWeb, which is specifically designed for integrated circuits. This suit is crucial for the rapidly growing field of IoT, 5G, communication, and personal electronics. Lastly, let's touch upon the concept of multiphysics. ANSYS does not just simulate individual physics, it integrates multiple interacting physics all at once. This is essential for projects where thermal effect influence structural integrity or piezoelectric material are used which involve both the electrical and mechanical properties interacting together. Each of these modules and capabilities I have mentioned are built to interact seamlessly within the ANSYS environment, which enables users to perform complex simulation that mimic the real-world interaction of their design. By simulating real-world performances, engineers can visualize potential problems in design, iterate faster, reduce the need for physical prototype, and innovate with confidence. 
Now I'm specifically talking about Ansys in this video because this is one of the closest software tool that I found that also has a basic free version for student that you can just go into their website and download and try. And you also get some trial versions of some of their industrial tools as well. So this is pretty good. For example, if you click on the free trial in their website, you can see that you have a list of products that you can just scroll, check and ask them for a trial license as well so that you can try and then proceed. Now in the next part of the video, I will go on to ANSYS Workbench and then I will try to explain from scratch what are the different tools that are available in the software, how to get the geometry, what are the different options, what options do we have to model, how to export the result and so on. So this is for absolute beginners who are just totally new to the software and are just learning simulation or someone who are accustomed to different software tools such as MATLAB or COMSOL, this will really help. So we will be back in the part 2 of this video.